I need to stop painting ceramic animals. It's becoming a bit of a problem. Let's try something new. Why not? <laughs> it's not edible, Toby. Hello everyone, me again. Welcome back to Rex and Really Rex and another weekly vlog. It's actually about yes, six. Yes. Oh. <laughs> It's actually about 6pm, half 6, half 7, something like that in the evening on Monday. Sorry I haven't vlogged today, it's been a very busy day. Um, but I'm just here with Lucy. Hi. <laughs> we're about to refilm that twinings video. But we've just been watching dinner date and someone tried to do like the crow yoga pose. So we're just giving it a go. Never done it before but I think this is going to be a disaster. Go. So I'm just checking the footage before I release Lucy <laughs> to make sure that it's actually <laughs> before we release you back out to make sure it's filmed. Cross your fingers, toes and eyes, it's gone through this time. Brand new SD card so we shouldn't have any issues. Half past one. Half past one in the bloody morning. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I haven't even been watching telly, I've just been sort of watching um, YouTube videos and reading articles and just sort of bumming around on my phone. I need to set an alarm for when it's bedtime to remind me to try and go to bed otherwise I'm never going to break this sleep cycle. It is absolutely bloody miserable again today. <sighs> Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. It's another day in the week um, and the weather is grim again today so uh, yeah I think I'm just going to stay inside for most of it and edit my video from last night. Um, I've got my cup of tea on the go, I'm going to get some breakfast now. I really should go to the gym today but right now I really don't feel like it. I am not a morning gym person. I've tried, it did make me feel good for the rest of the day but I just, I'm just not a morning gym person. I have to wait until the afternoon until I've got more energy, till I've had some food and yeah, until I'm just more mentally in it. So yeah, that is the plan for the day. Lots of editing and I haven't really got anything going on tonight actually but I'm kind of booked up until Sunday after that so quite a nice week ahead. <sighs> Weekly vlog goes live tonight. Always an exciting time for me. So yeah, let's crack on with the day. I realised when I was editing my weekly vlog last week that I didn't actually explain what I was doing my dry April for all. Um, I think I did actually explain but then I just must have cut that bit out. So I'm doing dry April which means I'm not drinking alcohol during April. Um, mostly because we drank a lot on holiday. <laughs> we drank a lot of lovely rum and beer on holiday. And I just felt like I need a bit of a detox. And of course, next month is my 30th birthday and I know that there's going to be a lot of drinking on that because we are going on um, a big press trip for the first two weeks. Then I've got my weekend away and it's just gonna be a boozy month. So I thought, because I wanted to lose a little bit of weight as well um, and break a few habits. Because in this job, you just get to drink so much booze. Like every event I go to, normally a free bar, and there's just booze everywhere and you get to the point where you're just like, I think I've had a drink every day for like an entire week. Like not loads, but you know, just like one drink here and there if you're popping in and out to stuff. So I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna do a whole month, I'm gonna lose some weight and detox a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm finding it quite easy. I do, I must admit, like the other night, I really fancied a glass of wine, like a cold glass of Sauvignon Blanc would be delicious. And I'm actually doing a collaboration with a winery, which is very, very, very exciting. So I've been sent three bottles of wine and I need to try them all and see which one I like the best. And then they're gonna create a personal offer just for you guys on a case of that wine. But I can't try those until May, so I've had to tell them I'm doing a detox and put that off a little bit. But yeah, so that's the reason why I'm not drinking in April. Um, I just thought I'd explain a little bit for you, really. Seems odd, doesn't it? Oh, excuse me, I'm still so tired. Seems odd that we have to explain why we're not drinking. Why am I not putting poison in my body for a month <laughs> instead of why do I drink? So yeah, that's just the reason why because I've got a feeling I'm going to be getting loads of comments on that later. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So bring, I'm actually taking two days over into May because we're still on holiday for the first day and a half of April. So yeah, on the day that I go on the cruise is the day that I can have a drink. So I'll probably be on the floor after one glass of wine. <laughs> 
thinking about it at the time. Oh, Toby's being a little bugger today. An absolute little bugger. Just chewing up all of his toys and everything. So I'm going to take him out for a WALK in a bit with Lucy um, in the forest in the hope that it will mentally and physically wear him out a little bit. But I'm on a roll today. I'm doing pretty well. I've got some amazing Bumble events lined up. Like some seriously, seriously good ones. Especially this month. I'm just about to launch another Bumble Biz event with an amazing self-motivation professional speaker slash life coach. Uh, and then May, we have got some awesome ones. So if you're interested in coming along, then definitely join our Facebook group. Um, yeah, it's all going, it's all going really well. I'm just, uh, just busy, just powering through. <laughs> Toby never barked, <laughs> but we are being followed by a guy on a motorbike and he just keeps growling and looking out the back window <laughs> because he's never seen someone on a motorbike before. I think it must be the helmet, like because he's never seen a human with a helmet on. You tell him, you chase him away. Oh my goodness, it's so muddy today. <laughs> we are going to get covered in mud. Well, I've already been covered in mud, but there we go. <laughs> You got very muddy today, didn't you, hey? Are we all clean now? You all clean? <sighs> Mucky puppy, cannot wait for the summer when you don't get covered in mud after every single walk. Hey? You were falling asleep during that bath. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> no! Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. I'm very tired today, but I feel like my sleeping pattern is finally getting back on track. I managed to get to sleep at about 1 p.m. last night, which is better than the 3 p.m. a.m. What? <laughs> <laughs> the 3 a.m. that I have been doing over the past week. Um, so yeah, feeling feeling a little bit better. Um, filming a video for you today. I am going to do my curls for short hair video because so many of you have asked for it. Um, even though I tend to do well, I, up until now I've been doing like a different technique every time, but now I think, I think I might have nailed it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to film that for you. Hopefully you guys will watch it. <laughs> it's one of those things where I get so many requests for a video and then I do it and then nobody watches it. And I'm like, guys, come on, you asked for this. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys will like that. That will be going up tomorrow if all goes to plan. Um, yeah, got to take the little one out at some point and uh, Nobed's coming round to drop off a box because it's taken him like nearly two years to sort out a cupboard in his house and he's found a load of my stuff apparently. There we go. Enough said about that one, the better. So it turns out I've lost four pounds since I got back from holiday, which is amazing. Just through not drinking and just healthy eating really, not dieting. I mean, I had like a whole chunk of Easter egg the other day, but, um, last night <laughs> quite late uh, but i've just been eating what i want when i want but just being mindful of my meals and portion sizes so yeah feeling pretty good to be honest i'm gonna keep going because it's uh it's nice to see a bit of um movement on the scales and yeah i just feel like I've, I've been i don't think i'm overweight i'm not fat in any way but i'm definitely bigger than i want to be and not as fit as i want to be so yeah it's just nice to kind of look after myself a little bit it's time kind of getting back to pre-depression weight because my antidepressants made me put on so much weight um when we upped them to 30 milligrams it was like i just sort of put on a stone overnight it was really strange so yeah it's quite nice to be on the road to getting back to the old me and the way the old me looks oh, back from another soggy dog walk with toby just having a cup of tea and a bit of easter egg and cracking back on with my work um yeah, it's quite a productive day today, but also a little bit of a frustrating one. Just had a couple of emails that have really sort of ticked me off. You know, when you get an email, you're just like, hmm, I need to step away from my phone slash laptop for 15 minutes or so, just before I reply to that. Because <laughs> otherwise it's not going to come out the way I intend it. Uh, joys, joys, joys of working for yourself. Tonight for dinner I have got chilli with no beans because I didn't have any like kidney beans so I've just got vegetables in there and brown rice and a bit of guacamole, not guacamole, avocado and there's none for Toby. This chilli is really really good I have to say, if I do say so myself, 
but yeah quite enjoying it at the moment really enjoying eating healthily i've got to say sorry i'm being rude not even looking at the camera i'm just like chilling in the channel tunnel in miles per hour what is the speed limit for trains in no the idea tunnel? morning everyone happy thursday we didn't win the quiz last night absolutely gutted we came third uh, which isn't too bad considering the team that won had about nine people in it. <laughs> so considering it was just two of us, I think we did okay. Um, I'm just making some porridge for breakfast and I'm cracking on editing my curl video, just finishing that off from yesterday, uh, which will go live tonight. So hopefully you guys will enjoy watching that. Um, if you do, please leave a comment, loads of likes, let me know. Um, and then I'm re-editing the Twinings video because I've got some changes from Twinings themselves. So I'm just gonna re-edit re that and send that over to them. Uh, so yeah, busy morning so far. Quite enjoying it though. Oh my goodness, that's my exercise done for the day. So I just went into town for a coffee with um, Jo, because I haven't seen him in ages. And I got a call while I was there. Well, we, luckily we were just finishing up, say that my shopping was here. I completely forgot that I'd ordered it two till three instead of three till four. So I had to leg it back from town and made it just in time. So yeah, thank you very much to the Sainsbury's brand for waiting for me. <sighs> and this is what your shopping looks like when you don't have plastic bags with it, because we're saving the environment, but it just makes mess your kitchen for a while. <laughs> So before I went on holiday, I bought a couple of things, um, like a jumpsuit and stuff that I showed you, and the bikini that I bought was really nice, but it didn't fit, so I took it back to Primark today and picked up some things, even though I kind of went in for a handbag, because my brown tote bag has officially broken, because I put too much in it. So I wanted a similar bag to that, got one, and then ended up buying a few more things as well, but it only came to £14, so let me show you what I got. And we saved the planet by putting it all in the handbag that I bought. So this is eight pounds. Uh, this is my replacement handbag. It's really, really simple. It hasn't even got any compartments in there. It's just kind of one big bag and that was eight pounds. So that was the price of the bikini. I picked up this jumper, which was in the sale for three pounds. I'm not sure how it's gonna fit. It uh, seems quite short, but I thought it'd be quite good for just sort of bumming around the house. And I also got some more long line t-shirts because they're just really good to wear with leggings. These have got like a v-neck, which is more flattering for me. Uh, yeah, so just a white one and a black one. The black one's got like a funky sort of back bit to it. It's nice. And last but not least, I got some little necklaces. These will probably turn green and fall apart, but they were three pounds for all of those and they're all separate. So I thought they were quite cute. And a pound for this set of rings. It's not edible, Toby. Give up. <laughs> my lunch slash dinner today looks amazing. Brown rice, salmon fillet, half an avocado and salad with some tomatoes under there. Oh, I can't wait. I have finished my work for the day just in time. I'm really, really, really hoping that Twining's like the second edit. I think it looks really good and I'm so excited for you guys to watch it on Sunday. Um, I am actually going pole dancing tonight. Very, very random. But it's something that Lucy tried out a couple of weeks ago and I was gonna go with her, but the first class was when I was on holiday. Um, and then last week I was at Wicked. So this is the first week I've been able to give it a go. And I'm excited, I've never done it before. We just thought, you know what, sod it. Let, let's go for it, let's have a bit of fun. Um, it's meant to be really good for your core. So yeah, I'm gonna try and bring you along. And if I can, film a little bit of me being very, very ungraceful on a pole. And and yeah, let, let's try something new. Why not? <laughs> this is the cutest. Toby has realised that if he drops his ball down the stairs, he can play fetch with himself. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> You're very clever. Much 
fun. It was hilarious. I was absolutely rubbish. But in the end, we did handstands. I don't know if I, I didn't film any on here, but I've got some on my phone. Let me see if I can show you. It was really scary doing a handstand at first. And then I nailed it. I put it in front of my ugly face. Look at that, that's me doing a handstand and the arrow pose. Very cool, I really enjoyed that, it was so much fun. And the hour just whizzed by, like completely whizzed by. <sighs> I feel really good about myself now, even though I did look a bit like a potato on a pole. It was just fun, it was really fun. And I have got no strength in my arms. Look at those non-muscles. I was trying to hold myself up and I was like, yep, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> So from one wonderful new hobby to another, I'm going to go and jump in the shower and get changed and then I'm meeting Hot Tub Lizzie and Lucy at Pretty Pots for some pottery painting. What a fantastic Thursday. Lucy is working very hard with her stencils there. It's not supposed to be stressful, it's supposed to be calming. Ooh, look at your font. Check you out, fancy pants. That looks amazing. The font is the painting. Sorry, what? Well that was so much fun, absolutely loved it, it was really nice to see Hot Tub Lizzie as well and this is my finished little rabbit, he's so cute, I'm going to go and put him next to my fox in the living room, I need to stop painting ceramic animals, it's becoming a bit of a problem. But I am going to get into my PJs, it is uh, quarter to ten so I'm going to make a cup of sleepy tea, get into my PJs and just watch a little bit of television and relax but yeah, I had a really lovely day today, amazing. <sighs> Bring on Friday. <laughs> hey team, happy Friday. Hope you're all well. Had a productive morning this morning, even though I had some technical issues with my bloody website. Always stressful when that happens, um, but we're all sorted now. So I'm off for lunch with my lovely friend Tracy. We're gonna go and have a coffee and a sandwich somewhere. Um, have a sit down, have a catch up, and then I'm gonna come back, do some more editing, and then I'm out for dinner tonight. So it's a very nice day. Uh, I'm wearing exactly the same as I was wearing to pottery painting last night. So I was only in it for a couple of hours. And to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to go rifling through my wardrobe and find something else that fits. So uh, we're rocking this. Oh, speaking of clothes fitting, I've lost five pounds since I came back from holiday, which is amazing. <laughs> can't believe it. It just goes to show what a little bit of healthy eating and cutting out the crap and alcohol does for you. So hopefully we can keep that up. I really would just want to lose a stone uh, to be back to sort of my comfortable weight for my birthday. So yeah, feeling really good. Ah, that was lovely to see Tracy, even though I did get completely rained on on my way to town. She's got some very exciting news and we just had a lovely lunch and had a big old catch up. So that was really nice. Uh, so I've just got back. Lucy's taking Toby out for me today on a big group walk and she's also not feeling great at the moment so I picked her up some flowers on the way home. Look at those giant bunch of flowers. They're really pretty, so many colours. So I'm going to drop those off to her later uh, before I go out for dinner. So I am in now for the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to go and crack on with my blog newsletter and get that sent out for you guys. Loads of content to go on there this month so yeah feeling good today. Oh, all done for the week. I have finished all my work. I'm still actually waiting on the okay from Twinings to go live on Sunday, which is a little bit nervy, but I think I'll just have to um, do some work tomorrow um, if they come back. It's like 10 to 6 now. So um, yeah, hopefully they come back to me today and I can sort it tomorrow. Um, but I'm off out for dinner tonight and I'm not going to take my camera. I just really need a night to switch off. Um, I really fancy a glass of wine now. Oh, it's getting so hard. Like, I just genuinely just want, just one big glass of cold, ice cold Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, that would make me so happy. But we're going to stay strong. I'm going to drive to the pub. Um, and yeah, stick on the soda and lime. I would have that if I were here again. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I'm vlogging on my own in public. You know how much I love this. Um, so I've just been for breakfast at the Ivy. And it was absolutely bloody fantastic. Met some lovely bloggers, had some great avocado on toast, nice coffee, and the sun's out. Happy days all round. Hey, hey, hey. So it is currently 6 p.m. and the day has been glorious. It's been so, so sunny. Been sat out in the garden, um, reading my book and also just finishing off the twining stuff. So that's all done. That's scheduled for tomorrow. So please, 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 if you haven't watched it yet, do head over and watch it because um, I think it's a really nice video and it's a really big campaign for me. So I would love your support. Um, yeah, so I'm off out for dinner tonight. I've got my Beauvoir elderflower presse, low sugar. Rock and roll. Um, but I'm actually feeling all right about it tonight. Uh, to be honest, when the sun's out, I just I either want a cold beer or a cold glass of Sauvignon Blanc, but actually, I'm feeling all right today. I'm just going out for some good food. Well, actually, one of my friends is cooking, so we're having steak 
and yeah i'm just i'm kind of looking forward to the drive as well just put some tunes on and <sighs> sunshine makes everything better so i'm gonna leave you here and i will probably chat to you in the morning this one is ready to go <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. I've woken up feeling like crap. <laughs> I feel full of cold and I feel like I'm a little bit hungover even though I haven't drunk in, what, nearly two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. I think I'm dehydrated. Um, I'm not getting enough sleep. I think I managed to get to sleep until like 2 a.m. last night. Cause that's the problem, when you're not drinking, you can drive to places. So I see we just sort of got watching box sets and stuff after dinner and then I was like, oh crap, it's like, it's like half past 12 and this friend's house is miles away so if I'd have been drinking I would have just would have just stayed there and then got some more sleep but I drove back anyway so today I've got an event with Benefit which um, I got invited to and it's one of those that I'm normally too busy like I already have already have plans but I didn't have anything on so I thought yeah this sounds amazing so it's like a copywriting workshop um, but it's in Nottingham, which is quite a way away from me as well. I've used so much petrol this week. <laughs> I've done so much driving this past two weeks because obviously I've been drinking. So, yeah. Um, so that's a bit of an epic mission for me. But um, I've invited my friend Sophie along as my plus one. So yeah, we're going to go along there. And I think it's a brunch with. Um, I think they've got like benefit beauty treatments as well. So if they've got anybody doing brows, oh, I'm like laughing. So yeah. That's pretty much it. That's my that's my plan for the day. So I've got just enough time to have a coffee and a five minute sit down, <laughs> and then I need to jump in the shower and go and get ready. <sighs> I completely forgot about this, but I didn't. It's in my diary. I knew I was going, but then also in my head I was thinking, oh brilliant! I've got all Sunday to do loads of washing, um, do the hoovering in the house, everything, and then I was like, no, no, I haven't, because <laughs> it's like two, I don't think I'll be back until like four or five p.m. So yeah, an evening of cleaning. Uh, ahead which is which is crappy but it needs doing because this house is a tip <laughs> This place is so cool. So it's called the Hockley Arts Club and it's in Nottingham and you can come here for drinks and stuff. But we've got the top room which is all hired out and look at this. It's a blogger's dream in here. We've got some good goodie bags and we're about to sit down and do a copywriting workshop. So I've got my coffee and my old school Princess Diana mug. <laughs> and we're gonna learn some new stuff. That was so much fun. Um, I just finished at the benefit event and I'm driving home and it's checking it down with rain. Where did the sunshine from yesterday go? Um, yeah, I had a really, really lovely time. It was such a good event. Well done, Benefit. It, honestly, it was great. We had um, a workshop with this incredible author um, who gave us some like writing techniques and stuff for our blogs and our Instagram. So yeah, um, it was just, it was really inspirational. And the brunch was yummy. It was at the Hockley Arts Club, which was super, super cool. Like really, really cool. Um, like just a room full of cherry blossoms. And yeah, I went with my friend Sophie. She came to my first one and uh, Jess was there from Bumble she's like the Nottingham uh, Bumble Queen Bee and uh, a few of you guys were there as well like loads of people came up to me and said hello and said that they watched these videos so hi guys thank you very much for coming and saying hello I know it was a small room but yeah I still think it's like quite brave for people to sort of come up and say hello so yeah just had a wonderful time and I got my brows did amazing I was gonna go and get them done um, not next week the week after when I do my Bumble event in Birmingham but now I don't need to have them done because they've just done them for me today feel great so I'm gonna head home um, and take the dog over for a walk and get drenched by the looks of it and then I'm gonna settle in for the evening oh gotta put some washing on oh hate being an adult so much need to put some washing on uh, and then I am gonna settle in for the evening and uh, just chill out watch some um, like box set stuff I might watch a film or something and I'm not gonna look at my phone or anything no social media I had quite a stressful social media day so yeah I'm not gonna do anything else for work until tomorrow morning I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here so uh, you're not gonna be missing much just walking Toby putting the washing on and putting my feet up so thank you very much for watching as always I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, if you did thumbs up leave me a comment down below and yeah I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Hey Rosie. Hi. And it sounds like pissed. <laughs> Good morning everybody, me again, welcome back to X Media X and another weekly vlog.